Hi everyone, I'm Jess Diner from Birchbox UK and I'm here with the wonderful Lisa Potter Dixon, head makeup artist at Benefit and we're here to talk about lashes and mascara. We are indeed. Over to you. Thank you. So we are going to be talking about our iconic bad girl lash. Yes. Have you so tried I, this Yeah, one? I've used this for years. Okay. Absolutely love it. And people that love it, that's it for them. There's yeah. no other mascara, it's all about bad girl. And I think the reason everyone loves it is because it really volumizes the lashes. It's got this giant wand, I mean it's huge. <laughs> and it's gonna just give you a plump up those lashes, really. But I'm gonna do a look that really complements this bad girl vibe. And okay, it's called the under smoke. Okay. So forget your smoky eye on top. Okay. We're gonna do a smoky eye almost underneath okay, the lashes. Okay, I'm open, I'm open okay, to the idea. Excellent. But first things first, we're gonna use the bad girl liner, and I'm gonna get you to draw in your waterline, but okay. not just in the bottom waterline, also on the top waterline. Okay. And I always get my clients to do this themselves, just because you know, it's quite uncomfortable for someone else to be yeah. doing it. So you do it yourself, it's much easier. Okay. The great thing about this liner as well is that it is waterproof. So even though we have wetness in that part of the eye, yeah. it's not going to run. And the good thing is as well, is that when you do underneath the top lashes, this is actually going to make your eye lashes look thicker as well. So it's a really easy, effective way, particularly if you've got sparse lashes. And then combined mm. with the mascara, what you'll see is it plumps up those lashes even more. A bit watery eyes. You've done, 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 done a good okay. job. Done okay. a good job. Don't cry, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now for the under smoke. You can do this in any colour that you want, but I'm actually going for a purple. This one's called Rain Check, and it's a powder exactly. eyeshadow. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. It's got a little metallic twist to it as well, but you can use a cream shadow, a powder shadow, you can even use a soft eyeliner, but I'm going for this one, and I'm going to use Lovely. a pencil brush. It's just easier to apply, you get more precision then. Okay. So, Lovely. if you look up for me, Put your head down slightly, just your eyes look up, that's it. And we're just going to run underneath the lash line and just layer it up until we get a really beautiful colour. It's all about the blending as well, so just keep going backwards and forwards until you've got a really soft, smoky effect. You don't want any hard lines. Now I'm just going to take a clean brush and just clean up underneath to make sure there's no eyeshadow drop. And you can just brush it off literally with a clean brush. Okay. Because I've already prepped your skin, we've already done our concealer, we've already done our blusher, and we've already done your brows. Just by using a dry brush, you're just gonna sweep that color off because the concealer is protecting that area underneath the eyes. Oh, that's so, I always faff around with the tissue and I put a tissue under my eye and it, but it's just a whole performance. It so. is, and you drop the tissue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So actually that's a very good tip. Okay, now for the mascara. So, the top tip when applying this one is to wiggle the wands. Okay, so we're gonna do the bottom lashes first okay. so that we don't hit the top of the eye with the mascara. And just pat it on, but wiggle it backwards and forwards and that's gonna give you extra volume. Will you always put mascara on bottom lashes? No, you don't have to. If you want to have your eyes looking really, really wide and fresh, then you know you can just do the top lashes. But mm. for me, if you've got great bottom lashes, you might as well enhance them. Mm. Wiggling the wand as well, also make sure that you get the mascara from the root to the tip. It's a really cool look on you. <laughs> I'm seeing it out of the weekend rocking yeah. this. <laughs> turning the wand, this applies for all mascara, so just turning it straight on just to get those inner lashes as well to make sure we get every single tiny one. And I'm just going to blend through just a little bit more with my pencil brush because what happens is, is sometimes you get a little bit of mascara underneath the eyes, but by blending through with your brush you're going to get rid of that again. Mm. I like the idea of just reinventing the smoky eye. Yeah, it's really cool. It's bring just it a, underneath. And how easy is this? Yeah. And what you can do is if you really want to, if you want to enhance the look even more, you can add a bright red lip or you can go for a nice burgundy colour. But actually what I'm going to do is just buff a little bit of Hoola bronzer, again one of my favourite products, that one of yours, yeah. just on the lips, just to mattify the lips. It just finishes and completes the edginess of this look. I've never put bronzer on my lips before. <laughs> <laughs> Something new every day, eh? Mm. And there we have it, our bad girl lash look. Brilliant. I'm taking these lashes out of the town. <laughs> Thanks so much, Lisa. No Thank you.